Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to ATN Bangla. This is Rabir Khan with the news. First, the UK headlines. Long distance buses are off the road today also. Passengers are facing extreme sufferings as public transport is not available in the capital except BRTC. Sit in demonstration of the students demanding road safety continues in different cities. Scrutiny of documents of vehicles continues. And the government has taken 15 steps, including accepting the nine point demand of the students. The students must return to their classes, opine analysts. Now, on to the details. Movement of buses from Dhaka and the rest of the country remained suspended for the second day today on the plea of security. Although some buses plied during night, but the long-distance buses did not depart from their respective depots. As a result, severe transport crisis has been created in many districts including Sidet, Shirajganj, Meherpur, Borishal and Nator, resulting in extreme sufferings to the thousands of passengers. Meanwhile, the owners of private buses have stopped plying in the capital since morning. As a result, commuters are facing extreme sufferings in the city. The working class are in immense trouble as there is no other public transport except BRTC. The students took to the streets at various points of the capital today, also demanding punishment to those responsible for the death of two students. The students are also assisting traffic police in implementation of the traffic rules. Meanwhile, the Chhatra League leaders requested the students to go back to their homes as the Prime Minister has accepted their demands. But the students have pledged to remain on the streets till the Prime Minister's assurance is implemented. Meanwhile, the students continued their sit-in program demanding road safety across the country, including the divisional cities. In the port city, Chottagram, the students blockaded various roads, including Gate No. 2 and GEC intersection. At this time, they chanted slogans demanding implementation of their nine-point demand, including death sentence of the killer bus driver. In Rajshahi also, the students staged a demonstration rally this morning in front of Boro Murshid at Zero Point area under Shahe Bazar in the metropolis. Reports of such demonstrations have been received from various towns including Maman Singh and Rangpur. DMP Commissioner Asaduzzaman Mia has said the law enforcing agencies have moral support for the movement of the students. He said this at a press briefing at the DMP Media Centre this afternoon. He also said vested infiltrators are trying to take the movement on a different track. As a result, the police expressed apprehension and he added that the sufferings of the people could not continue for long. The DMP Commissioner further informed the traffic week would begin tomorrow. Asidu Zaman Mia said that stern action would be taken for driving without license and violation of traffic rules. BNP leader Barrister Modud Ahmed alleged that the government has instigated the workers to take to the streets for resisting the students' movement. He made the allegation at a discussion meeting at National Press Club. Modud claimed that the workers have called the strike at the directive of the leaders of labor organizations by getting support from certain ministers. Road Transport and Bridges Minister Ubadul Kader has informed that the government will not take tough stance against the students' movement. However, he alleged that BNP Jamaat has infiltrated the movement of the innocent students. Obatul Kader has also said that a certain quarter is instigating the students to resort to vandalism and torch vehicles after sunset. He also informed that the government has already accepted 
all the demands of the students. The British Minister further informed that the Army has been given the responsibility to construct an underpass in front of Ramizuddin College. In another news briefing held at Dhanmundi Party President's office, Awami League General Secretary Ubadul Qadir has said that Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina directed the law enforcers not to use force on the demonstrating students. He said that failing in the movement for Khalid Azir, BNP is now capitalizing in the Safe Road movement. Obadul Kader further said some youths wearing student uniforms launched attack on the Awami League activists at Dhanmundi. 17 people were injured. Condition of one is serious. Nurun Nahar Yasmin, principal of Shaheed Bir Bikram Ramizuddin College, called upon the students to return to their home as the Prime Minister sure to accept all their demands and faces. She also informed that assistance is being provided for the students killed or injured in the road mishap. Earlier, five buses were handed over to the college authority on behalf of the Prime Minister. Analysts are of the view that time has come for stopping the movement of the students demanding road safety. The government has accepted the nine-point demands and the Prime Minister announced 15 steps for development of the transport sector. As a result, the analysts are of the view that implementation of the demands would begin soon and road safety would be ensured. And that's the end of this news bulletin. To view ATN Bangla News, browse www.youtube.com slash ATN Tube News. Subscribe and remain with ATN Bangla. Allah Hafiz. Thank you.